Here comes the field for tonight's eighth race. Field of 10 to go in here. One super high power. Now owned and trained by Mike Saylor. Ron Steck drives to Oak Lawn. Carrot owned and driven by Jeff Dennis. Three is flowing Jody. Owned by Ruby Hostetler with Charlie Myrick. Four, Wild Louie. Owned by John Hellman. Dean Collins aboard. Five is Sugar Valley Babe. Owned by Dale Walters and the bike Bill Walters. Six is Holly Hill Disco, owned by the Hatfield Stables, in the bike Trader Bud. Seven is White Wall Crown, owned by Warren Holland with Jeff Smith. Number eight, Best Quality, owned by George Alber with Jeff Fout. Number nine is Hill Sassy Sess, owned by Sturgill Loman and Walter Miller with Jim Daly. Ten, Crown Time Starwood, owned by Crown Time Farms. Dan Ader will be in the sulky. That is the field for tonight's eighth race. Post time and left. Two minutes. Getting close. Two minutes. Field for eight is at the gate and moving up. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and trotting. The one super high power is off stride at the start. Between horses, Wild Louie takes the lead. There goes Holly Hill Disco moving up on the outside. Down the back stretch, Oaklawn Carrot is in the third. Sugar Valley Bay looking for the four hole duck and tuck. We'll see if Crown Time Starwood obliges, and she does. Midway on the turn, flowing Jody. After that, it's White Wall Crown. Best quality. Gap of two more lengths in the hill, Sassy Sis. And the far back trailer is the one super high power. Nine on gate, trotting past the quarter, 28 and four. Racing past the stands. Holly Hill Disco has got the top. Holly Hill is there by two. Wild Louis is snug second. Ready to come, Oaklawn Carrot from third. Here's the favorite driving up on the outside as she flushed Jeff Dennis and Oaklawn Carrot. Crown Time Starwood is now getting a good journey in fourth. Around the clubhouse turns Sugar Valley Babe to fifth. Moving up on the outside into the flow. Flowing Jody toward the rail hill. Sassy Sis. Between horses, White Wall Crown. Best quality is ninth. Super high power, tenth. They're at the half, one, one, and one. They're down the back stretch. Getting a breather on the front end. It's Holly Hill Disco. Holly Hill Disco leads by a widening two. Oaklawn Carrot flattens out a bit in second. Wild Louie is third. Flowing Jody on the far outside. Showing nothing right now. Crown time Starwood. She's blind switch as a matter of fact. They trot by three quarters and one thirty and two. Moving around the far turn. Holly Hill Disco has the lead. Flowing Jody is trotting a storm on the far outside. As they race by three quarters and one thirty and two. They're into the stretch. Holly Hill Disco has got the lead. Holly Hill Disco on top. Here comes Flowing Jody up on the outside. Holly Hill Disco flowing Jody. Holly Hill Disco wire to wire. Six, Holly Hill Disco, the unofficial winner. Three, Flowing Jody was second. Four, Wild Louie was third and ten. Crown Time Starlet was fourth. Result of tonight's eighth race is now official. Here's the winner. Number six, Holly Hill Disco. Four-year-old Bay Gelding by Editor-in-Chief out of Disco Dolly. Owned here in Clevis by Hatfield Stables. Trained by Tim Rucker. Driven tonight wire to wire by Westside Dodges. Trader Bud Hatfield. Covering them out in 159 and 1. Number 6, Holly Hill Disco, the winner of tonight's eighth race. Exacta, $54 even. The trifecta, $312.80. $312.80. Windows open on the ninth. Field of 10, no changes. Tenth race, exact and trifecta. Eleventh and final race, the superfecta. It's also the start of the final pick three. Three good ones left. Stallions and Geldings here in the ninth. Open Trotters in the tenth. Super effective Pacers in the eleventh and final. Post time at 10.15. 
Tap down in the eighth. Super high power 10th.